Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the season finale of my Minecraft Feed the Beast Ultimate Let's Play. And as I'm sure you're all aware, the season's not ending per se, it's just transferring over to the Feed the Beast Unleashed server that we have with the Cryptocraft guys. So that is where you shall see the future episodes of this and it'll be called Cryptocraft Unleashed probably. So keep your eyes out for that. But anyway, in this final episode, we will be completing this farm. And it doesn't really need completing anymore, but just for completion's sake, I'm actually going to make the turbary, which you need, let me in, which you need to harvest the peat. And to do that, you need tin electron tubes, sturdy casing, and a basic circuit board. So let's do that. Some copper, there's some tin here. How many do we need? We need three. Mm. So just shy of what we actually have. So let's take this copper out, put this tin in, tin in, and take out one. Cool, there we go. And sturdy machine casing and circuit boards can be made down here, I'm pretty sure. If not, they are in the storage system. No, circuit boards, give me, give me one of you. What are we missing? Tin. Tin. Tin, tin, tin. Go! Make me a circuit board. And do we have any sturdy casings? Yes. I knew I had. Oops. Oops. Ah, what's happening? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's going to be in here, isn't it? Yes. Basic circuit board. Cool. So let's go in up here. Get to a chopper. And do that if we had glass. Some glass. And here we go. Yeah, turbary. Sweet. And I'm pretty sure that we have everything set up here from our failed rubber tree farm. So if we just do... Okay, almost. If we just do this, that'll get powered. And should... Yep, there we go. Harvesting the peat. And now all we need to do is get an import bus. Import bus. Make me one. Wench system. Oh, that's such a good idea. I think that's, that's what I'm going to call my AE system, the wench system. And just do this. So we now should... Oh, dump face. We now should be seeing some peat going in here. Hooray! It is working. Success. Right, as you may have seen uh, in my inventory, I have bows. I have a power 4, a power 4 punch 1, a flame 1, power 4, infinity 1, and a power 3 bow. I've been playing around with them and using the creeper slash enderman farm over there for experience. And as you can see, I've been there for a while. <laughs> 120 levels. Yeah. And we're going to be using this one. But we don't want power 4 because that's lame. We want power 5. Flame 1, power 5, infinity 1. Don't mind if I do. Can we get punch 1 on it? I wonder. Too expensive, no. No, we cannot. But never mind. This bow is pretty badass as it is. So let's deposit off some of our items that we don't want to take with us. I don't really need that anymore. Copper can... Uh, let's try to use that thing and I just put it away. I am stupid. This can go in. And we probably don't need these two things anymore. Because we're going to be in the end fighting the dragon Which is going to be the epic boss battle... That will see us off in our season. So let's just drop these off. Power tool, yeah, I'll need that. Infinity, so we only, we only really need one arrow, but I'll just keep some. And we want to make sure that we are fully energised. And it's probably worth boosting, boosting these things before we go. So put you in there, and you are... Yeah, you're all fine. They seem to favour taking the power out of the boots for everything, for some strange reason. So, if we head through here, bloop, we'll get stuck on the floor for a bit. And here we have our end portal. And I'm not planning on taking any Mistcraft books. This is just going to be a straightforward end adventure. Oh, I think we need to move before the silverfish get us. Because they are scary. So without further ado, let's go. And we spawn on a platform. That's 
that's an ideal. So, let's toggle the jetpack on. Oops, I didn't look in the end of it, did I? And there, there she is. There she blows. Pew! And we need to, of course, take out these beacons. And I'm a terrible shot, because that was a lot far, further away than I expected. Not really. Thought for sure I'd had it then. Yeah! Suck it, Enderman! I mean, Ender Dragon. And Enderman. Stealing all my stuff. Ruining my grass. Grr. Bane of my life. Oh man. I'm really sucking at this. Go away. I'm trying to destroy your crystals. Leave me in peace. Can't you see I'm working on something? Fine. Do this. But I'm not going to make the same mistake that I did last season and punch the beacon when I'm standing right in front of it and die. Go away. No. Quit it. Hey, you did a lot of damage then. Can I just get the beacon, please? Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Just look away, guys. Look away. I'm sorry, guys. I'm fit. Oh, there we go. Finally got it. Yeah, I did change my power suit armor, if you remember from last episode, I think I mentioned it. That I nerfed my armor so that it's actually... I think it gives me less protection than diamond. Pretty sure. Except I can still fly. So, it's kind of OP hacks. O OP low hacks. Oh man, that was terrible. Am I getting it there? Oh yes. To pro fo show. And these last three, I think. Pew. Oh my god, you just had to. You had to do that, didn't you? Ow. Ow, quit it. What did I ever do to you, man? Survival of the fittest. Nope, that was worse. Can I get a Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty sure that's all the beacons now. Dun dun dun. Come on, dragon. Come at me, bro. Broheim. Brosef. Brosefina? Yeah, and dragon's definitely a girl. Pew! Oh. Too pro at this game. I am too pro. That was a bit less pro, but... Yeah. I'm not going to be using my low hacks flight too much. Only if he's gonna boot me off the island, then I'll use my OP low hacks fly mode. Uh, can I get a? Can I get a whoop whoop? Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna hit him. So close, so close. Right, batter up. Pew, pew. Ah, oh, damn, missed him. Or her? Really? I thought that like went straight through her. There we go. <laughs> Nope. 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 Oh, really? The dodging on this. Oh, That dodge, man. That dodge. Oh, man, this power five is wrecking us so hard. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know, man. You don't know nothing. Oh. <laughs> I almost feel sorry. And by almost, I mean not at all. Oh, did that arrow get her on the way down? Sweet. She doesn't stand a ghost of a chance. And Ten points if you can get that reference. That's kind of... Kind of, um... What's the word? The word that means that not everyone's going to get it. Oh, look at that shot, man. I'm wrecking it with my arrows. Too pro, man. Too pro. It's been the UHC Ultimate Fighting League. Oh, really? I thought I was going to hit him. Die! I want to claim your island. Oh, God. Death to dragons. And hopefully I'm not going to shoot myself with my own arrow as it comes down again. That would be kind of funny. Yeah, she's scared. What's this stuff? Soda like dust. Okay. Ooh. That dodge, man. That dodge. Not called the end of dragon for nothing. Ooh. Come on, go on, two hits, two hits, go on, three hits, go on, yep, yeah, four hits, go on. Oh. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, maybe not. Oh, yes, go on, go on, go on, go on, go, 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 yes. You don't know what's hitting you. Oh, yep. Yeah. Come, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ah, oh, she escaped. Curses. Wait, what? Say what? Oh man, how did I skip this one? Ooh. Yeah, you're not gonna need it now. You're gonna be dead. Oh, dead. Maybe you're not gonna be dead. Where is she over there? Still haven't looked at any end of them. Oh, too good. I am too good. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Always shoot where you expect them to be, not where they are. Then you're more likely to get hits, even though I'm kind of failing miserably. Come on. Whoop. Whoop. No, 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 you're lying, didn't look at you, the CCTV, you know, all you guys at home, oh yeah, oh no, come on, come on, come on, come on. one more hit, oh, two more hits, come on, come on, oh. there we go, ha ha, ha ha, Oh yeah, look at all this XP. Phew, shooting up in levels. Too much XP for show. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, didn't look you, didn't look you. Do you have disjunction on you? No, you don't. Okay. Phew. That was sweet. Sweet like chocolate. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a little mini break kind of explore this area for a bit, drink some more of my tea, because I'm British, and of course we all drink tea, because stereotypes are all true, and then they never lie, and stuff, and I really like tea. So I shall do that, and be back with you momentarily. Okay, I've just been digging around for a bit, I've got loads of this sodalite dust, so let's have a look, what can we use it for? It can be used as a dye, it looks like. Lapis upgrade, yeah, can dye the canvas bags blue. Speed handle, okay, that's a bit strange. Blue structure, quite pretty. Uh, yeah, and them, 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 them. It can be used in zycoridite blocks. And as a dye, can it be used for anything specific? Uh, still dyes. What does this do? Molten blue dye, which is grey apparently. Uh, still is a dye, still is a dye, oh finally, sodium cell, aluminium dust, silicon, ooh, ooh, interesting, and chlorite cell, and we're back to the dyes, hmm, silicon, I might actually have to use that, because I'm getting quite a lot of it, so yeah, it uh, seems to spawn in quite big veins as well, except for that one, which didn't, uh, ooh, what's this? Tungstate ore? Okay. What do you use this for? Smelting into tungsten dust? So pretty much exactly the same as tungsten ore. Okay. But it's called tungstate. That's pretty pretty cool. Sweet. And I know there are ender bees here as well. I wouldn't mind getting a few of them, but I left my scoop back at the house. Whee! I have the credits, which no one ever reads. Past the first time. <laughs> which I've already read them. And we're back home. Sweet. So, we want to get our ender pouch. Oh, I'll put it in here, don't I? Yeah, I did. Ender pouch and canvas bag. In our canvas bag, we have... No scoop. Well, I don't think I've ever used a scoop. <laughs> so, that probably answers that question. Uh, wool and some wood. So, I think a scoop, as far as I'm aware, is one wool and loads of sticks. Yeah, there we go. So, loads of sticks make us a scoop. Well, that bow took a bit of durability. Hmm. Gotta love my tea. Started drinking tea instead of coffee. Because I think coffee makes me a bit too jittery and I crash. Whereas tea is nice and thick and creamy. Well, thick and smooth, I suppose. Not creamy. But it makes... It soothes the voice. It makes making YouTube videos that much more pleasurable. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was weird even for me. Ugh. So let's put this in. Actually, wasn't it? Is it an electrolyzer? 
So I don't have one of those. Dang! Might have to sneak one in. But let's, uh, what was I doing? NBs and something which I have forgotten. Well, I can remember what it was, but let's head back to the end. Oops, did I get stuck? No, no silverfish, no! My only weakness. And right there is what we are looking for. The ender hive thingy. Ender drone, mysterious comb. Ah, how mysterious. And... Wait, what? But that's not the end. That's not the portal, is it? No, the portal's there. What's that? Some weird, like, structure, mod structure or something? I have no idea what this is. But it looks a bit suspicious because there's a button right there. Hmm. Maybe it's like those torches being in the stronghold. Oh, I reckon someone's. Enderman, what have you been doing? You've been trying to prank me? I swear as you. Well, we've got nothing left to do really. We've uh, had a nice run, defeated the Ender Dragon, built loads of cool things, killed a few withers, got a portal gun, didn't really touch on a few of the mods, but um, wait, what's that? Oh, it's like land over there, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think we've had a, a good run, so let's push this button and see what happens. Hello? And as the sun sets on our Minecraft world, so it is the end of our series. What can I say guys, it's been a wonderful five months. Yes, it, is, it has indeed been that long. I first started uploading in March, and it is now August, so it has been five months. Quite surprising, eh? <laughs> For only 39 episodes. <laughs> oh, but um, yeah, well this uh, transferring over to the server is going to be a lot better, a lot more regular. And it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. We actually filmed the start of it earlier. So that will be coming out. And yeah. Um, I didn't know whether you <laughs> played along with the little role playing thing at the end. But uh, that was that was indeed staged. Surprise, surprise, right? But yeah, this is, this is my world. I'll put it up for download if any of you want to play along and maybe build your own things. Or blow it all up or whatever. Do as you so wish. I suppose just to finish it off, I would say a brief history of of the of the world. If uh, some of you are recent subscribers or haven't seen the first few episodes, I converted over from the Direwolf 20 pack because the ultimate pack had Greg Tech and a few more, shall we say, slightly more interesting mods in there. But since then, Direwolf 20 has updated to be a, a very strong contender. So I converted to the Direwolf 20 pack, but it, uh, to the ultimate pack from the Direwolf 20 pack. But it meant a world reset because of the different mods. And I first did a bit of role playing again, and I fell from a height and died. Where was it? Somewhere. I died somewhere. Somewhere in the forest. And that was the start of the series. And I tried to make it like aesthetically pleasing and put an emphasis on. Oh, excuse me. Put an emphasis on how things looked. So that's why this house is a bit different because I thought. I'd use a bit of skills that I'd learnt from watching various YouTubers. But uh, in the end I just <laughs> went back to my good old square buildings made of stone bricks. Because I'm awesome. I'm more like Direwolf20 in the sense that he builds functional stuff. As opposed to... Oh, who was it? Um, Lynchy Inc. Who is amazing at aesthetics. But I'm just more of a build a room, make it slightly appealing. So it's a bit of design, it's not just a box, it actually has detail and some bits stick out more than others and there's a bit of panelling around the around the sides there. So I kind of, I tried to make it a bit aesthetically pleasing, but I know I'm not the greatest. But yeah, I built this house first and this little cow pen. This was going to be the engine room and there was a pulverizer and stuff there. Oops, my door being, yeah. Hello, Mr. Angry Zombie. Several Angry Zombies. Ah. Have it the... Oh, everyone's out to get a piece. They want in on the action before your, your series ends. Yeah, you do. Don't lie. But you're too slow for show. Too slow for show. 
Ah, see? So yeah. Built this little area here. This was for machines. And I had a pulverizer and a furnace and all that. But then I built the factory and sort of converted this into a miscraft area. Which I then never used. <laughs> ever, never ever used. Because I put most of my focus on this factory. And this was kind of like a basic storage room that I sort of got into applied energetics and didn't really look back from there. Got these machines up and just made storage, made this ender chest, which again I didn't finish. Um, in the end of the Cryptocraft series, if you watch that, Knight says, um, well, Knight says and I agree, that we are both builders who build, oh, what was the word? Perpetually incomplete buildings or something on those lines. Which is pretty accurate. I start on projects and I never finish them because I always find starting on them much more exciting than completing them. So this isn't finished. That's not finished. This kind of... the corruption of the village isn't finished. This kind of looks a bit blocky and isn't finished. That was going to be a temple. That does, that's not finished. <laughs> this is probably <coughs> the only one that's actually finished. Because that's what I intended it to look like. And maybe that as well. But um... But yeah, the season's over, guys. It's been it's been so much fun, and I've gained so much from this and from you guys. And I know that some of you, this is your favourite series, and have no fear. I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing across on the Cryptocraft server on the Unleashed pack, so you won't be losing out. It'll be just as exciting and just as awesome over there. So please do check it out when the videos start being pumped out, which should be extremely soon. I.e., maybe the day after tomorrow. I think tomorrow's going to be something different, and then the day after that might be the start of Season 3, technically, of the Cryptocraft server, so I'll start doing videos from then, which will be really fun. And it's pretty much the same kind of thing. It has Applied Energistics, and it has Ender Chests. It doesn't have Red Power, unfortunately, but it has like solar panels and forestry and all this cool stuff. Why is there nothing here? That's really weird. It must have dried out. But yeah, it has the Twilight Forest, and it has MFR, um, Mine Factory Reloaded, and it has some ne cool nether stuff as well, whereas this mod pack doesn't. So it's going to be extremely cool. So I guess that is that is it from me. It has been a wonderful five months. Thank you very much for enjoying the ride with me. And I look forward to our next adventure. So, signing off from this season... I shall say thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next episode. Dun dun dun! dun. Yes. Ah, oh, finally the end portal. Finally. I thought my game had broken. I was looking around for like map editors or something for Feed the Beast that could provide us with a location of the stronghold. Forces the seeds into the hoppers, and they feed all the way down into the chest. How's about that? And then I just flip the button again, turns water off, I pick up the seeds and replant them. This is uh, quite, quite a long process. Just turn this music down.